The General Motors Companion Make program was a mid-1920s program to introduce brands to fill pricing and design gaps in GM's brand mark lineup. General Motors pioneered the idea that consumers would aspire to buy up an automotive product ladder if a company met certain price points. As General Motors entered the 1920s, the product ladder started with the price leading Chevrolet make, and then progressed in price, power, and appointments to Oakland, Oldsmobile, Buick, and ultimately to the luxury Cadillac mark. However, by the mid 1920s, a sizable price gap existed between Chevrolet and Oakland, while the difference between an Oldsmobile and a Buick was even wider. There was also a product gap between Buick and Cadillac. To address this, General Motors authorized the introduction of four companion makes designed and priced to fill the gaps. Cadillac would introduce the LaSalle to fill the gap between Buick and Cadillac. Buick would introduce the Marquette to handle the higher end of the gap between Buick and Oldsmobile. Oldsmobile would introduce the Viking, which took the lower half of the spread between Oldsmobile and Buick. Finally, Oakland would introduce the Pontiac mark between it and Chevrolet. The final structure brand order Cadillac LaSalle Cadillac Buick Marquette Buick Viking Oldsmobile Oldsmobile Oakland Pontiac Oakland Chevrolet Chevrolet alone did not receive a companion car at this time The upper 3 companion makes shortly failed with Pontiac alone remaining as a GM mark until 2010 Topic other manufacturers Topic <inaudible> Chrysler Chrysler Corporation introduced the Plymouth in 1928 as a base model beneath pre-existing lines Dodge, DeSoto, Chrysler and Imperial at the top. It was discontinued in 2001. Topic Ford. Ford Motor Company repeatedly experimented with companion makes. It added Lincoln Zephyr as a companion make for Lincoln in 1936, introduced a deluxe Ford as a companion make for its mainstream Ford line in 1937, and added the intermediate Mercury line to further fill the gap in 1939. This experiment was short-lived, however, with Deluxe Ford becoming a mere trim line in 1941, a year after Lincoln had discontinued Zephyr. In 1985, the Ford Germany-based Merca brand was created as a companion brand to Lincoln that Ford hoped would appeal to import luxury buyers, but which would prove to be unsuccessful. Ford Motor Company would stick with Ford, Mercury, and Lincoln with the brief exception of the Edsel failure until 2010, when Ford announced the cessation of the Mercury brand. This simplified structure allowed Ford Division to expand upmarket more aggressively than Chevrolet with models such as the four-seat Thunderbird, the 1965 Limited and the current titanium trim level models. Topic. See also List of GM factories